Tech Link Infinity. And beyond. And beyond. All right, child, it's time to sit up straight, elbows off the table, and eat your tech news. It's got nutrients, child. Good boy. <laughs> That's a different voice. What was that? Hey! <laughs> OnePlus held its launch event for its new flagship, the 6T, earlier today in New York City, the Big Apple. Plenty of details about the device were revealed, including an in-screen fingerprint reader and a missing headphone jack. Uh. I guess it's probably kidnapped along with the others. Help us! Help us, consumers! We must free them! <laughs> the camera won't be too different from the one we saw in the OnePlus 6, but it will include some new software like a low light feature called Nightscape to try and compete with the Pixel 3 Night Sight which is awesome. The phone will also include a larger battery, a Snapdragon 845 SoC, and is claiming up to 20% reduction in app load times. Pretty slick. Pricing is rather low for a flagship as it starts at just 549 US dollars. And if you're on T-Mobile, you can get $300 off if you trade in specific phones that go all the way back to iPhone 6 and the Galaxy S6. What? Good. God, that's... I have a Galaxy S. And your phone's ancient. The OnePlus 6T will go on sale on November 1st unless you're in New York City right now where you can buy it right now. People are walking all over Times Square with 6Ts. It's crazy. You can just snatch one. You can just run. Run with it. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Speaking of phones, by now it's common knowledge that Red, the company best known for making super kick butt high-end camera gear for professionals like us, is marketing its own smartphone, the Hydrogen... Uno, Hydrogen One. However, numerous delays have left us all wondering if, like an actual hydrogen atom, it would end up being something we'll all never be able to actually see. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. But Red has finally announced that the Hydrogen One will in fact go on sale on November 2nd, so uh, this Friday. Red is hoping to set its offering apart from the other smartphones on the market with a high quality camera and display its billing as holographic with 3D capabilities. Of course, the phone is unsurprisingly quite expensive at 1300 US dollars, even though it's got somewhat last gen specs. We'll find out soon whether the Hydrogen One can stand up to the absolute deluge of other flagship smartphones currently hitting the market. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Red? Are you gonna stand up to them? Hmm? Are you? Yeah. No. Oh. No, you're not. Oh. You're the worst. Not a chance. It's awful. Get out of here. Get that thing out of my sight. I'm gonna wash my hands up. Just joking. It's not that bad. Sony is hoping that you miss the original PlayStation like the deserts miss the rain, as they've just revealed every game that's gonna be included with their PlayStation Classic mini console. Console. The console of PlayStation. <laughs> with its PlayStation Classic Mini Console, the latest retro offering to hit the suddenly crowded market. Although Sony had previously revealed that favorites like Final Fantasy VII and Tekken 3 would be included, gamers will also be treated to Metal Gear Solid, Grand Theft Auto, and Rainbow Six. No. Dank! Now, unfortunately, anyone who buys the console will miss out on Crash Bandicoot, Tomb Raider, Tony Hawk, Gran Turismo, and Spyro the Dragon, aka The Good Games. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't like Spyro, but whatever. While the PlayStation Classic does still feature a fairly solid game lineup, the omission of some of these beloved titles may cause some folks to shy away from the $100 price tag when they can just get an emulator for free. Yeah. Whatever, it's 100 bucks, it comes out in December. Let's get it. I'm, no. Let's get it! You can do it. And now it's time for Quick Beats. Brought to you by Team Group's Delta RGB SSD. Its large, luminous RGB body will look great inside any build, but it's not all about the great looks, because you'll also get read and write speeds of up to 560 megabytes per second. Three versions are available with one rainbow wave effect and two others with visual effects that can be controlled through software. To learn more, click the link below! Woo! Speaking of SSDs, NAND flash prices are expected to continue dropping into 2019, according to the chairman of ADATA, Adada, Adada. Manufacturing capacity has gone up globally, which means flash storage is going to be cheaper than ever. I'm sorry, hard drives. It's time for you to board the gray ships and pass into the west. Your spirit will live on. He just keeps going. And it looks like Bethesda has learned something from the recent controversies around loot boxes, as the company has announced that the only real money transactions in Fallout 76 will be for cosmetic items, and everything else will be completely free! With in-game currency being generously awarded to players just for... 
playing the game? What? What? Huh? This sounds insane. What am I gonna spend my real money on? Food and shelter? Five cent candies? Love? Uh, you need food, shelter, and love. Yeah. You need it. Well, depends on what kind of love you're spending. You're supposed to earn XP and earn love, I think. Yeah. You're not supposed to buy those things. Okay. Google is jumping on the subscription service bandwagon with Play Pass, which would charge a monthly fee for access to Android apps that would otherwise cost in the hundreds of dollars. No word yet on if and when the service will actually launch or whether it would be a success because I'm still gonna download the free apps. Yeah, but I would still not buy apps. Hundreds of dollars for one app? Spend a bunch of money or spend less money? Spend no money. How about none? It's no secret that consoles these days have become more PC-like in their feature sets than ever before, and Xbox is taking this a step further as mouse support is finally available. Those enrolled in its alpha and beta preview programs will be able to use a mouse in the game Warframe. Just that game? Okay, support for more games is coming soon. Is this the end of the PC Master Race? When everyone has mad headshot skills, does anyone really have them? Huh. Lots to think about. Something to think about. Two heads per character. That's what we need now. Yeah. And IBM has agreed to buy open source software giant Red Hat for $34 billion. It's crazy that a company with open source software can be worth that much. The move will give IBM a huge presence in the cloud space, but Red Hat will reportedly continue to operate independently of IBM. A similar story to the one Microsoft gave about their acquisition of GitHub. I guess we just have to trust these large corporations to act in our best interest? We, we can do that. I, <laughs> I trust you, giant company. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they're doing well. They have to make good products these days. Cause... Microsoft? No, oh, IBM. Have you heard of Circle? <laughs> and it's in the best interest of this episode and all its viewers to end right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, dislike, and subscribe in that order, and then do it all again if you want. We'll see you on Wednesday for another heaping pile of nutrient-dense tech news. Mm. Sounds kind of gross. Mm. Mm -hmm. Still got to swallow it. Oh, oh dear. You're welcome, Dennis. Time to leave. <laughs> Dance.